Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an overview of a brand new product from NVIDIA. I have a reference design of the video card that they've just released here. It's based on a new GPU. It's called the GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost. For memory, we have a 2 gig frame buffer, that's 2048 megabytes of GDDR5. It's got a 192-bit interface, and again, that's one of the uh, big boosts that this card has gotten, the 650 Ti Boost versus the 650 Ti. Uh, a wider memory interface, and that is specifically designed to give you better performance, especially if you're playing at 1080. Uh, finally, memory bandwidth is 144.2 gigabytes per second. As far as the design of the card itself, it has a nice black PCB as you can, as you can see. Uh, NVIDIA is continuing to use the blower style fan, which you can see down at this end. Uh, it is enclosed on this side of the card. It gives you positive pressure at this end, which pushes air across the uh, fin stack, which is located right here. And the great benefit of this is that the hot air is primarily ejected out the back of your case, so it's not going to be contaminating the inside of your case with uh, hot air, which might increase the uh, temperature of some of the other components. For power, we have a single six-pin PCI Express power connector, uh, and NVIDIA is recommending a 450-watt minimum power supply for this card. Uh, and then it also has a 140-watt TDP, so uh, 140 watts of thermal dissipation available, or that is required um, for whatever cooler is installed. And since this is NVIDIA's cooler, well, it should be able to support that. Let's move on to uh, our video outs here at the back. We have two DVI connectors right there. They're both dual links, so they can support 2560 by 1600 resolution. Note that the top one is DVI-D, that's digital only. Uh, the lower one here has your analog connectors as well, so if you're going to use a DVI to VGA adapter, it only works with the lower one. You also have an HDMI connector right there, as well as a display port, which is 1.2 compatible. Um, now, again, uh, SLI is an option on this card, so you could purchase two of them. It's compatible with two-way SLI, uh, so it's going to allow, allow you for a very cost-effective uh, SLI gaming configuration, which is very popular. And speaking of cost-effectiveness, that's really what the 650 Ti Boost is all about um, when it comes to cost-effectiveness. Uh, 1080 gaming, 1080p gaming is uh, pretty much becoming the standard these days. Most new monitors that are sold are going to be 1080p at minimum. Uh, and the ability to play modern games at 1080p is really what NVIDIA uh, came up with this new GPU for. So uh, the, six, the 650 Ti Boost is going to give you much better performance, and uh, we'll throw up a quick chart here. This is from NVIDIA, comparing some of the performance of the 650 Ti Standard and the 650 Ti Boost uh, to each other. And as you can see, if you're playing at 1080p and you're going for a minimum frame rate or an average frame rate of 30 frames per second, uh, the 650 Ti Boost is going to give you a much better experience than the 650 Ti that preceded it. But that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been our first look at the new GPU and the new reference design video card based on it, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost. Make sure you keep watching Newegg TV as cards come out based on this GPU, especially when we get a look at some of the custom design cards that are going to be coming out from some of the add-in board partners. We'll be taking a closer look at those, and we also plan on featuring some benchmark numbers as well. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't, and we'll see you next time.